So as a teacher who uses Google Classroom with my teenage students, and as a parent who is attempting to do distance learning with my elementary age own children, I've seen a lot of questions and heard a lot of people asking about how to best use Google Classroom in this situation. So one thing you can do is you can turn off notifications in the stream. Now this is really helpful because the stream is just organized by whatever's most recent, and so it's kind of all over the place. So to turn that off, you go up to this little cog up here, and you scroll down to the general section and for the stream for the classwork on the stream you choose hide notifications so make sure hide notifications is chosen and then click save then you won't see anything really in this stream unless you choose to type something to your class and what i do in my google classrooms with my teenagers and you can do this if you have younger students and parents are helping younger students too but i put a little announcement here that says hey, check out the classwork tab and put a little um, pointing up emoji here pointing to this classwork section because this is where everything is much more organized. So a place you can go to get these little emoji symbols that you can use in Google Classroom is coolsymbol.com. And when you go there, you'll see there are symbols and emojis and text art and cool fonts, all these different things that you can scroll through and you can look at. And when you find something that you want, you just click on it and then it's automatically copied and then you can paste it anywhere. Okay, so I type click on the classwork tab at the top for organized info, and then I can either just right click and paste or click control V to paste my emoji from coolsymbol.com. Now, when students and parents check out the stream, which is what they are automatically taken to when they log into Google Classroom, they will see one little announcement here. You can, of course, put as many announcements as you want, but click on the Classwork tab at the top for organized info, and now they know to click on Classwork well, they, where they will see this organized by topic. The way you organize it by topic is you click this little plus sign here and you create a topic. In this example, I have two items up here that do not have a topic assigned and those stay pinned at the top. And then anything else that I wanna put under a topic, like for example, if I create some material or create an assignment, I fill it out as usual. And then down here for topic, I choose what topic I want it to fall under. And then once they're under a topic, you can drag and drop and reorder them there. But anything up here does not have a topic and it's pinned, sort of like pinned at the top. And then anything else can be organized by topic. And topics, you can drag and drop those to be in a different order as well. It's just a way to organize things sort of in a folder there. So I hope this helps and good luck to you. If you have questions, you can comment below and I can um, do my best to answer other questions. But these are just two little tips that I use to organize my Google Classroom, and hopefully it helps you and your students, whether we're still in this distance learning situation when you watch this or not. So um, I wish you guys the best of luck. Thanks for watching.